in the craziest turn of events I've ever seen in my time with Summoner's War, we are getting 10 trans monks in game to celebrate the 10th anniversary. So today we're counting down the top 10 in the game. Let me just get this out of the way. We're not gonna cover Siege or RTA Season Reward skins because the event doesn't let you take those. So that means there's no Night Lady of Cult Girls, Cyborg Hero, Sniper, sorry, Magnum, no Noble of Elemental Realm, Ifrit, Underworld Messenger, the, I forget who that one's for. I just know the name of the Ironheart Chimera, Sage of the Ivor, or Pioneer, the Wyvern Commander, Beast Rider, the Rune Armor Druid, the Hero of the Battlefield Battle Angel, Steel Monarch, Dragon Knight, uh, the Star, Star Knight, Weapon Master, um... Number 10, Lord of Beasts Dragon Knight. It's the same Dragon Knight you love, but just hotter. <laughs> oh my god, dude. Look at those abs. This skin nails the impact that these skills should have. It also lets the Dragon Knight have a little dragon buddy, and I think that more skins should just have buddies. Which is the perfect segue into number nine, which is the Skin Diver Mermaid. I don't think that this skin gets quite enough attention. It is a great beach skin interpretation for the mermaids, and it also comes with a buddy. Stellar animations, stellar design, deserves number nine. Number eight is so good, and it inspired conversations about new design space for transmogs. I actually wish that we'd seen more things come from this one. It's the Baby Bear War Bear. If anything, this skin should be closer to number one, but I think this is generally speaking going to be an appropriate place for the skin. The main thing that holds it back is probably the time at which it was released because at the time of recording, it is now a bit of an older skin. So that means it's lacking the complexity that skins of the modern day would normally see. But still, even like this, it's number eight on the list. Number seven is the retro Game Boy Robo. This is just like the next logical step for the monster, honestly. I think the Robos are made better with this skin. I, and you'll probably find that with a lot of the skins on this list, but what I mean to say is it just seems like a more complete, thought out version of what these Robos are. Love the way they manifest their attacks. I think we can all agree that Dark Robo has a really cool skill three animation. And I love that they now have a face that can kind of emote on the screen. Like, surprisingly dope skin. Number six is Legend of the Ocean Sea Emperor. This is a very recent release, and I think that there's a list of monster skins out there that are probably just labeled as the most improved category. This would be for stuff like the Jokers, the Vampires, the Succubi, the Magic Knights, the Horuses. I could go on and on and on, but they essentially just update the monster's aesthetics for the modern age. And I think that the Legend of the Ocean Sea Emperor is probably the epitome of that category. To me, this is just what the Sea Emperors would look like if they were made in modern day Summoner's War. The Water Dragon adds such a nice flair to all the skills. It's almost like they come with this super unique aura too. And hey, it's a buddy. There should be a whole category for buddies. Before I reveal what number five is, number five is actually proof that this list is not as biased as it might seem. Because if I was the one that wanted these, if I was placing these, this would be number one. It's the business casual Ifrit. I think this is so awesome. <laughs> I love Veramos going out, going out at night, going out for a little casual dinner with his coworkers. Like that's what this skin is to me. This is what, this is like the, oh, I have a dinner reservation for 6.30 Ifrit skin. That's what this is. Dude is employed. Dude has values. Dude makes a salary. But hey, I'm frankly just a sucker for like any of the Ifrit skins. Like I think all of them should be on this list, especially the Halloween one. Unfortunately, I don't think people like the Halloween one as much as I do. Uh, so it's not getting on the list. If you want to see more of what we could have had in terms of Ifrit skins, you should check out the concept art video on the channel of all the Ifrit skins that we never got. I had so much fun making that video and boy do I wish that we got some of those. But at least we got business casual. I forget what number we're on, but the next one is the uh, Magic Hunter Ninja. Yeah, this one's just really cool. This one I actually don't count amongst the most improved category because I think it far exceeds what the regular ninjas are. This skin perfectly blends the ninjas with a cyberpunk environment. Like, I could totally see them coming from wherever the Robos and the Sky Surfers originate from. Number three, we gotta give credit where credit is due. The Sleepy Occult Girl is an OG skin. Hey, that's a double entendre. That's funny because they're occult girls. Wow, way to explain the joke to like just me. It's just me in this room. I, I'm like Evan explaining a joke for no one except myself. <laughs>
The Sleepy Occult Girl skin has been a fan favorite for ages. It even has its own SD figure that you can get on the Come To Us online store. Personally speaking, it is not my favorite Occult Girl skin. Again, that belongs to the Halloween variety, but people love it and that's why it's on the top 10. Number two is the Gatekeeper of Hell Onimusha skin. This is another one that just takes the idea of what the Onimushas are trying to do and just cranks it up to 11. I don't even know what to say for this skin. It gives the Onimushas this feeling of power and impact, which I think is so important, especially for units that can't crit. You really wanna be able to feel those attacks land. And I think that can kind of be something difficult because I think sometimes we take that little screen shake we get when we crit for granted. You know what I'm talking about? I love that. I live for that screen shake. So I love what this skin does. And for that, it's number two. Let's talk about a couple honorable mentions really quickly. I know I already loosely brought it up, but the Halloween occult girl skin I feel is really neat. I love the way that the attacks kind of augment the environment. It'll like teleport you to a new place, you know, graveyard for Nikki's third skill, etc. I just think it's perfectly done. The Aqua Girl Mystic Witch is also very, very good. The idle transmogs for the twins. We can't ignore the pirate hat devilmon either. I, although I have to admit that the idea of getting a transmog for something whose sole job is to get fed to another monster is straight up hilarious, but I'm here for it. I think that all of these are contenders for the list, but we've got a pretty tight 10, so they're gonna stay in the honorable mentions. Here we go, number one, it's the jet ski. No, I'm so kidding, I'm so kidding, it's not the jet ski. Liar! Number one, it's the guardian of sanctuary archangel or the business casual archangel. Let's not go down that rabbit hole again. I think you could choose either one of these skins to be number one, but the guardian of sanctuary skin for the archangels is just the next logical step for the archangels in general. They nail that angelic theme for Artemio, but then they feel dark and fearsome for Fermion. It's just so well executed, it's gotta take the number one slot. Though Dinner Reservations Archangel is also pretty great. Bonus, if you stayed till the end of the video, you get a super secret list that I don't actually know if I'm allowed to talk about. Welcome to Evan's extremely personal and not indicative of the views of Come To Us or its affiliates list of least favorite transmogs. First of all, Beach Girl Desert Queen is one of my least favorite skins because they make this beautiful skin of a fan favorite character, but then when you take her into a game, all you see is hair. It's just hair, that's it. Now we also have the Holidays Brownie Magician and the Marching Band Pixie. How do we have the same concept twice? Did it work the first time? All due respect to the art team, by the way, I love the art team, I'm just saying. This is personal opinion time. The rest of the video I thought was pretty objective. I get to say just three skins, that's all I wanted. All right, later, talk to you guys later, bye.